Hi, everyone. That breaking news tonight. Devastation on Tennessee's interstates. Four people dead in two separate crashes, all in the span of about an hour tonight. And one of those crashes killed a road worker putting out construction signs. Let's go right to News Channel 5's Jason Lamb near this crash site in Murfreesboro. Jason, what's it look like out there? Well, Carrie, in just the last few minutes, it has improved a little bit out here as far as the traffic goes. Take a look. You can see traffic moving a little slowly in both directions out here, but it was those eastbound lanes that had been closed after this accident. Now, take a look. Tra traffic was uh, moving here. This comes from the company Superior Traffic Control. They say one of their workers was out on the median of the interstate near the Joe B. Jackson overpass. They're a subcontractor. Their job is to put out road construction signs for crews that will then do construction work. They say after 5 o'clock tonight, traffic was backing up, as you can imagine, and a person driving a vehicle hit their brakes to avoid hitting a car in front of them, and they swerved into the median hitting that construction worker and killing him. Now, we don't have any names yet of the worker who was killed or the driver who hit him. All this happening one week after National Work Zone Awareness Week with TDOT trying to raise awareness, asking people to slow down and move over for highway workers. So again, the roads still uh, getting back to normal here in just the last few minutes uh, here uh, in Murfreesboro after a road worker was hit and killed tonight. We'll bring you any updates here and online at newschannel5.com. For now, reporting live in Murfreesboro, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Jason, thank you.